I went up to 78 degrees over 89 percent humidity today so this is the first day that I would consider to be kind of approaching the uncomfortable zone so to battle that we put in the cool zone since this apparently works and it is in fact working it's pretty cold coming out it doesn't feel that cold to me on the high speed but it goes back to the compressor cold so it's operating the way it's supposed to so I'll let this run in here for a while just to take some of the moisture out is uh, it was 60 percent when we started it's down to 56 already so that's working good in the living room which I need to turn off because it got cold we have the infamous carrier 27,500 It was 80 something in here when I turned it on. It pulled it down to 71 over 39. So we'll get some shots from the outside then I'm gonna turn that off because that's already too cold for me. This is all the moisture it took out in about half an hour of operation. It was only about 45% to start with. There's a raccoon. There's a hawk. The yard is just full of nature right now. It's pretty much impossible to hold the camera steady at that zoom level. That's like a hundred something X. In the garage, there is a 6000 VTU Whirlpool Kenmore from 1993. And this has a really good refrigerant sound to it. Unfortunately, the fan is obnoxiously loud. That's only on low. Yeah, that's just ridiculous. It's pulling moisture. Uh, 70 over 54. I'll probably just switch to the dehumidifier soon. taken out so far. It was pretty humid in there. Just cut the grass, it looks good now. And the hawk is still over there. just started up. Usually the one by the front door is the first one to come on. That's kind of odd. 
A lot of nice flowers coming up in the yard too. Wow, lilacs are doing good this year. The white one in particular, which is odd because the white ones are hard to grow. And the purple one, which is the standard color, is uh, also doing pretty well. It needs to be trimmed and shapened. I didn't want to touch these for the last couple years just because they got hacked and they needed some time to regrow, but I think now we can uh, we can do some pruning safely. And here's the Amana. These are actually came with drain holes. This is kind of vibrating a little bit. I'll try to fix that. And this one also sounds really nice. Very, very smooth operation. It's going to take some time for this to start dripping water. I'll come back later and get some more pictures of it when it is. But I wanted to show up before it got dark. This has been running for a few hours now. It's getting real cold. It's working well. And it's taken the temperature down to 72. And it's taken a lot of moisture out. It was like 60 something percent. Now it's only 52. Now granted it's not hot out at all. So it's not under much load. But taking 10 percent of moisture out over an hour or two makes a big difference. That's one of the reasons why I say that a little 5,000 sometimes goes further than people make it out to. And this is handling the whole upstairs right now. I got this fan pushing air down the hallway. And even all the way at the other end of the house here, the humidity has gone down to, um, to only 47%. So it's pulling moisture from the whole area upstairs. And speaking of the moisture, let's go take a look at it from the outside. Very quiet fan. It's fairly warm still, warmer than I would have expected. There's a drain hole working properly. It's all blurry, but it's there. Working pretty good. Hasn't pulled too much yet. I think it's not, uh, it's not draining very well because the, the back here has kind of filled up a little bit. I gotta, um, I gotta adjust that, but this is just a temporary install for today. I don't think it's gonna be warm in the next couple days, like week or two, so I might not even leave it in. Just wanted to give it a test run and see how it worked. And it's doing a good job. Ah, I shouldn't have touched it now, this is all rattly again. It's this this mesh thing on here that's that's vibrating. I gotta figure out how to, how to secure that down. 